and in this video I also want to just use one color to keep on practicing with the medium watercolors and only focusing on values and in this video I want to start practicing on arches paper okay, so let's start with the first layer so now I already see notice that I need more water so you can feel that on your um, painting maybe I could even use a bigger brush if you use a bigger brush it allows you to uh, use more water so that's something I'm getting used to um, the amount of water how much water do I need to use and I've noticed that I at first I feel like I want to play safe so I don't start using too much water now I want to take a bit more pigment and yeah, uh, look at the shadows. So if you want to stop it from flowing, like if you get any fu fuzzy edges, that's where I just dry the brush and try to blend. But you want to do this quickly because um, the layer is starting to dry now. So quickly look at the reference photo and see where you have the lights and the darks. If you have any hard edges like I have here, quickly clean that up. Go around the eye. Now you want to start to use less water and maybe even use a smaller brush. It is a bit lighter here, but this might dry up light, light enough. So I'm not sure yet, but I'm lifting a bit here just to be sure because on this side it's a bit lighter. And then here in between you also see a highlight. So pay attention to those details. Um, but then first the line here use the tip so here we can blend down let's blend this before it dry so now you can just go over your sketch lines and um, so that you have the shape of the eyebrow that you don't lose it Here the lines are quite thin and light. This will dry up a bit lighter. So that's the thing I notice with this paper. A bit more water maybe. Make sure that doesn't go until the crease line because that's where the highlight is. And now I'm going to continue the shadow here. And let's have it blend here. But I need to be careful now because um, this part is wet. So I'm going to blend this here and then here you see a shadow in the corner you, you can go in layers if you're not sure if if it's too dark so I'm going to go over the crease line now so just go layer by layer and accept what's happening that's the challenge here with watercolors and know that each layer will make it look better but again if you have a too much of a hard edge you can go clean the brush uh, go over it a bit to soften that go um, over it a bit try not to scrub but try to soften it a bit see if that works if you have an unwanted edge somewhere so just go over and over an edge if you want it to look a bit softer and again you're using the reference photo as a guide don't have to copy it 100% you can do your best and copy it uh, the best as you can but you can also be creative and change things if you like and you can also go over it to lift a bit of the pigment if you think oops that was a way too much pigment and then if it's too light you can go over with another layer but that's better than oops that was too dark once it's dry I think I'm going to let leave this and then I can always go over it if I need to with another layer you can just keep on layering as much as you like or as much as you need 
there are a lot of challenges here, but I am definitely learning from them. And I hope the challenges don't scare you from practicing with watercolor. And I'm thinking of these challenges as uh, things that I'm learning and that I'm getting better with uh, these challenges. And I see that the paint keeps on wanting to flow above the crease line in my painting. So I, I keeping uh, an eye on that area, then lift if I need to. So back to the size three, I'm going to go over the eyebrow and darken that. And then I can compare and see if I'm, I think the skin is fine. I don't want it too dark. So using the tip of the brush, feel that it's a bit dry. So here it was quite darker, but here where it's lighter and you see those detailed thin lines, uh, I'm going to use the size one. I'm going to work on the eyebrow again with the size one. Do you see how vertical I hold it? So, it, and really light pressure. But you barely touch the paper just with the tip of the brush. So maybe when it's dry, I'm going to add another layer there. So you want the shadows to be dark enough and the highlights to be light enough. I'm going to darken the iris some more. This paper stays um, a longer time. It stays wet a longer time than this paper. So maybe that's the challenge I'm having here, that this paper was faster dry, so I could just add another layer because I know that I want to have more experience with watercolors to really have an opinion about the paper. So if you're used to one paper, you could have challenges on another paper because like in this example here, the, this paper stays wet longer. I'm thinking about how dark I want to add a bit more shadow here. I remember the first layers that also, yeah, I think because I, I'm, I'm scrubbing and lifting, that just happened here. I think I'm going to lift some more and then I have a more even layer and then I can darken. Yeah, I think that's what happened here in my painting. I kept on trying to blend, but then I was actually not blending, but lifting. So that's uh, when I get, got this patchy look. So I went over it with another layer with more water and it lifted more uh, the rest. So then it can dry more evenly and then I can decide if I need to darken. I'm adding some bit more paint here so that I don't have a large transition. Okay, so I think this is better. So I have a damp brush here. I'm trying to lighten here because if you look between those lashes, it's lighter. You want to just barely touch the paper for those are really thin and light. I'm going to use a damp brush and go over this edge here to soften. The lower lashes, they just, they are long. They go down, then skip a few. And then here you see some going down as well in the corner here. So I start, I don't start with the thinnest right away because maybe the I have too much paint. So just to be sure, I start like on an area where the lash can be thicker. So if it turns out thicker than you want it, then you know, okay, you need to dry more water or more paint or whatever. And then here you see one going up. Barely touch the paper. Really thin, really um, light pressure.
So these lashes will dry up lighter. I didn't pick up more paint. I'm still using the paint that I have on my brush. If you pick up more paint, try to pick up um, not, a, not a lot. Because you want these lower lashes to be really light. And now I notice this is a bit more in shadow, so I could add a layer, a light layer. Once this is dry, I'm going to darken the lashes here. Before I do that, I am going to go with crease line because I'm still not satisfied. And now I know that it's completely dry. So now I can get this dark value because it kept on blending because it was wet. And I feel like it's too dark, but I'm going to trust that it's going to um, dry up lighter. Don't want to darken them too much. So I think that's, I think the eyebrow is finished like this. Um, to blend this, that's better. Okay, let's see how this dries. It can be tricky knowing that it will dry up lighter. Because with pencils, you know how it will look once you put it down that you can can just um then you know like okay is this the value i need no or yes but with watercolors you need to wait and like okay i know that will dry up a bit lighter that's the thing i find challenging with watercolors but i still think it's a beautiful medium um I'm looking at the value around the eye if I'm satisfied. Here I just darkened, so that's okay. I'm not going over the tip of these lashes. Um, maybe this here in the corner is just a bit darker. Only over the base or at the front. Darken a bit really use light pressure. Now I'm going to, with the extra paint I have, add these, the reflected light here. This is the moment where you can step away, wait for everything to dry and then come back, see if you're satisfied with anything. This is dry now and I'm really satisfied um, with overall eye painting. I remember a few times when I was like, oops, uh, what did I do? Oh, I hope this will um, turn out okay with a few layers underneath. And now that I kept on layering, I added more layers. I think it turned out um, quite well. And I'm surprised if I think back that how the layer looked. I wasn't really, I was a bit hesitant, like, oh, don't think that will turn out okay. So this is really something for you if you feel like you know with every painting they call some uh, layers like the ugly layers like an ugly phase you have to go through to get to the end result and those are the yeah like the in-between layers they can look a bit ugly you can doubt your painting uh, on those layers but it's really important to keep on going and even if you think oops um the i have a hard edge it's okay keep on going uh, try to soften that edge, but then keep on going anyway with more layers and the more you finish on your painting, it will look better. So trust the process and keep on going. And again, remember if you're not um, satisfied with your result, remember the things you have learned 
and the challenges you have come up with and that's how you will get better for any future painting.